Locked in on the lakefront. That's the word for the Chicago Bears president and CEO who announced plans to shift location of the team's potential nude stadium away from Arlington Heights and back to downtown Chicago. WGN's Mike Lowe is live at Soldier Field to explain this one. Hello, Mike. Lourdes and Ben, good afternoon to both of you. In football, the option play allows the offense to essentially react to the defense and change direction based on what they see in the field. That's essentially what we have going on here. After running into hurdles with their plans in Arlington Heights, they see a better option here on the lakefront. The Bears have a new game plan. After two years of working toward a new stadium and mega development on the old Arlington racetrack site, which the Bears bought for $197.2 million, the team announced it is shifting its focus back to the lakefront and proposing a publicly owned dome stadium to be built in the parking area south of Soldier Field. In a written statement, Bears president and CEO Kevin Warren said, quote, the Chicago Bears are committed to contributing over $2 billion to build a stadium and improve open spaces for all families, fans, and the general public to enjoy the city of Chicago. The future stadium of the Chicago Bears will bring a transformative opportunity to our region, boosting the economy, creating jobs, facilitating mega events, and generating millions in tax revenue. We look forward to sharing more information when our plans are finalized. The Bears are touting a survey that says six in 10 Chicagoans would support using public money for a public stadium. We need to leave it over here instead of going way out there to Arlington Heights. The Bears would commit more than $2 billion in private money for the project. Their plans did not, however, detail financing, which could come from bonds potentially issued by the Illinois Sports Facilities Authority or the Metropolitan Pier and Exposition Authority. The team is reportedly working with Springfield lawmakers and the White Sox in a potential deal to fund both teams' proposed projects. Warren's statement echoed what he told WGN's Jarrett Payton in an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview last month at the Super Bowl. If we're able, um, you know, to stay in Chicago, I would just say, you know, we need to make sure that it's, it's close to the lakefront because I think that's what brings it all together. Today, Mayor Brandon Johnson said his administration has been working with Warren to keep the Bears in Chicago. Any type of development in the city of Chicago has to have a public benefit to it. My administration has been on, in ongoing conversations with the Bears. Make no mistake about it, I made it very clear from the very beginning. Not just public use, but I want the Bears to stay in the city of Chicago. The Bears lease at Soldier Field runs through 2033, and it's unclear what would happen to the oldest stadium in the NFL if a new dome were to be built. I believe that the Chicago Bears should play their home football here in the city of Chicago. State Representative Cam Buckner represents the district that includes the lakefront and Soldier Field. Over the last year or two, I've seen a, a true shift in an organization in the way they, they communicate and the way they've been operating on the business side. Well, what about the legal side? These are all just proposals that are sure to face legal challenges, especially from the group Friends of the Parks. That group's mission is to keep the lakefront free of development forever, in their words, open and free to the public. We are awaiting a statement from Friends of the Parks this afternoon. Reporting live at Soldier Field, Mike Lowe, WGN News.